Hello again, it's Jason Casina, President of Checkerboard Strategic Web Development. Today we're going to take a look at how to track online marketing campaigns for your new website. Uh, one of the great things about our Market Smart Power Site packages is they come with the tracking that helps you to determine how your marketing dollars are being spent and are they being spent effectively and, and which campaigns are working and is this ad working. <laughs> you get my drift. Um, very extensive analytics. But when you go when you start advertising with outside sources, it's important to know how to do it. You know, how to get that tracking to show up in Google Analytics. The first thing I want to show you today is Google URL Builder. Just go to Google, type in URL Builder, or we'll type in Google. URL Builder. What Google URL Builder is, is it's a way to get the tracking variables added into your into your links that you provide to any advertisers. When you pull it up, it's gonna it's gonna have just a series of fields real quick. It's really easy to use. So first thing, this would be the link that you typically would give to the advertiser. Say you're doing some banner advertising on a local magazine or an online magazine. You would type in your landing page for your ad. We have a. I'll use my our expo division as uh, kind of a sample here. So 101expos.com slash landing page, whatever that should be. Then down here you get your variables, your tracking variables that you add, can add. Just kind of going through them. Source is going to be what what uh, what site is it coming from, or what uh, what is the source of the the traffic. For this one, I'll put. Say we're running an ad on Expo Magazine. The medium is going to be what type of link is it? Is it a they they give you cost per click, banner ad, email? Let's just type banner in there. We're doing a banner. Campaign term is term is mainly used for keyword advertising, so I'm not going to touch it on this one. Content is if I were to have different types of ads. Um, for example, I have multiple versions that I'm testing to see which ones work better for me. I might do V1 there, or I might do the seniors version. I have the seniors expos has seniors and body mind life, so I might try different versions of ads. That's what you would use there. And then the campaign kind of ties. It's what campaign is it going to? So uh, for this one, we're going to say exhibitor, new exhibitor package, or something. What the campaign uh, allows you to do is you can use the same, say, banner ads across multiple sites. So I might have new exhibitor package, but then I would go and do uh, Expo Setup ma Magazine or something. I could use a different magazine there and still use all the same variables, and I can see how well that ad is doing running across multiple sources then. So Expo Magazine. And what you would do then is then generate your URL. It generates this longer URL. And that's what you would give your advertiser when you actually place the banner ad. If I jump into Google Analytics here, uh, and I let me jump, I'm supposed to be on 101expos.com. So from, from your dashboard, what you want to do is go to Traffic Sources. And under Traffic Sources, there's All Traffic Sources. And if this comes up, we'll be ready to show. Be ready to show you here. When you're on all traffic sources, you'll see where the traffic is coming from, and it lists it by source or medium. See right here. This is sources. Your source is Google, and the medium is organic keyword searches. Then what you can do is just do a search like I think the source that we did if I go back and look oh we did Expo magazine so I can see how much traffic is coming from Expo magazine for example this one right here I have Minnesota seniors online I can see how much traffic is coming from Minnesota seniors online a referral is just a link on their site so it wasn't a paid advertising they just happened to put a link on their site and we're seeing how much we can come from there once you're once it's tracked where the traffic's coming from then you can start to track how many sales you're getting or how many leads you're getting so you can see not just traffic visited to your site from that advertisement, but you can also do how much sales I'm getting for it. If you have e-commerce, if you're actually selling online, well, I guess this site does have some e-commerce, I can sort by revenue. So I can see that this Minnesota Seniors Online actually sold $2,300 worth of sales. So it might be one that I want to do some advertising which, with. Right now we're getting free links from their site, but we might want to do advertising with them too because it seems to be people coming from that site end up buying. 
if you're not doing uh, e-commerce on your site, you, typically there's some call to action or you know some something we want people to do when they get to that site, whether it be call you or fill out a form or do those types of things. Typically, we can track that under goal sets like this one right here. It says booth applications, and again, I can see 2.3% of the people from this Minnesota Seniors Online ended up filling out the form. So it's a way that you can measure how well those advertising those advertising dollars are being spent. I'll show you one last thing. Uh, we mentioned before you can use that campaign, so you can run that campaign across multiple s sources. That can be found right under key campaigns. Ad versions, same thing. If you have multiple ad versions here, you can see how your ads are doing, and that can be across multiple sources as well. A couple things that can be automated right out of the box if you are doing keyword advertising. I would urge you to go to your Google Analytics, and you're doing it through, and you're doing using some Google AdWords. I would urge you to go in there. And then under reporting and tools, you just go down to Google Analytics and it tells you, it walks you through the process of syncing the two accounts. So automatically all your keywords, the different ad types, all of that stuff will be, will be connected with your account. MailChimp is another tool that most of our MarketSmart customers are using to send their email out. We, when we, if we set it up, we automatically connect it with your Google Analytics account. So when you do send it and it should have been part of your training, but if when you do send campaigns out, I'm going to do this small one, this sample account I have set up. All you need to do is you type in your campaign, and I'll say Market Smart Special. I don't know. When you put that in there, there's just a box right over here, Add Google Analytics Tracking to All URLs, and then it's going to automatically set that in there. So your sources are is going to be Mailchimp automatically, and then the this is going to give you the campaign, so you can see how well this campaign did. So you can see how well your keyword, how much traffic's coming to your site from your email marketing as well. All right, I, I we talked about a lot. I covered, I kept it short today, but hopefully that'll help you guys understand how to start tracking more information. And of course, you can always send us questions. I'm, I'm, I always like helping. So, thanks again. Take care, and we'll talk soon.